In today's Men 21 offensive tip, I'm going to be breaking down how to cancel the auto drop back in Men 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and welcome to my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is designed to help you improve your game in Man NFL 21. And if that is something that interests you, if maybe you're new and you've never been around my channel, what I want to encourage you to do right now is to join my channel Discord. My channel Discord is the best possible way to stay up to date with everything that I release in Man 21. Discord members get access to exclusive tips and they also get access to um, just coaching and lab partners and all that fun stuff. So uh, if you want to be a part of a really good community, head over to discord right now my uh my link is in the description of this video all right so auto drawback so one of the things that if you are if you've been around um man for a while you know that this this defense right here this simple db fire to edge press is one of the most popular defenses every year because of the fact that it gets edge pressure well the auto drop back if i drop back with rogers you see that it's hard to he drops back in a prime position for edge rushers to be able to take him take him out of the play. What we want to do is we want to step up into the pocket. We want to step up into the pocket because the way the offensive line is going to block is going to allow that. So, very, very simply, all you're going to do is you're going to hold right on your left stick as soon as the ball is snapped. And um, you want to do it right after the ball snaps. See right there, I didn't get the animation that I wanted but I'll show you it right here. So I'm just going to, as soon as the ball snapped, I'm holding right, getting to move, and then step up. And it takes a little bit of muscle memory to do this. But again, basically, you're just holding right on the right stick. He's going to move, and then you can go. When you move to the right, what I like to do is move right and step up. So typically what I'll do with my, my um, is I'll, I'll slide to my running back side. So wherever my running back's at, that's where I'm going to slide. You see here... You want to step up, 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 up in the pocket, kind of manage it right there. Now, this is a little bit of tricky. You do want to lab this up a little bit because, again, you want to learn the mechanics of the pocket because if you have good pocket, not only are you going to take less sacks, you're going to have more time to throw the ball, and you're going to take, if you do take a sack, it's not going to be for very long. So I do this like once a day. I'm just working the pocket, work the pocket, work the pocket, and then I look up and try to figure out where the defense is coming at, and I'll just run through random different random plays here. Here's spinner. So just maneuver the pocket a little bit. But simple, 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 simple tip. Again, you can hold, you can hold left if you want. But I think it typically works, um, to me it typically works a little bit better to the right side, but maybe that's just something that I've used more. If you hold it left, you see he does kind of stand still, and then he's able to go. But personally, I like I like holding it to the right. Um, if you hold it just straight up, you see that he's going to still drop back about three steps. It's not really going to matter if you hold straight up on your left joystick. If you hold, um, if you hold left trigger, you see... Um, Again, not not really an issue there. That's going to lowball the ball, so you, there's nothing that button's going to do for you. Um, if you hold hold it to the left here, you see he does do that little gather step. So I do like that a little bit, but hold it directly to the left or directly to the right. That's how you're going to do it. And again, with you being able to do this, it's going to allow you to get the ball out quicker. Whoops. It's going to allow you to get the ball out quicker, and it's going to allow your offense to move the ball down the field more. So um, if you really want to learn a little bit more about how to be an offensive genius in this game, one of the things I want to encourage you to do is to pick up my Madden 21 Competitive Bundle eBook. It is out right now. Competitive Bundle means offense and defense, so my full offensive and defensive schemes for um, 25 bucks. That is in the description of this video. That's literally everything that I have. That is man beaters, zone beaters, um, max pressure, max protection schemes um all kinds of different things and that is about uh, i think we are at 75 pages of write-ups right now with over 12 hours of video content so if that's something that interests you what i want to do is encourage you to pick that up we've gotten so many good reviews on that um one of the guys said it's the best 25 dollars he's ever spent so got a lot of great reviews on that and again that's air raid offense air raid offense so hopefully this video was helpful and again if it was either pick up that competitive bundle guide join the discord or just hang out with me on my live stream i'll be live tonight at 10 o'clock eastern time on youtube a link is in the description to that stream